I'm a grown ass man. I don't ask much. I work a lot. I got a mortgage. I got a kid. I got two car payments. I got medical bills. This stamp on my hand, this is not from the coolest club in town. This is to get into an apple orchard so I could ride on the damn trolley. $15 to ride on the damn trolley, plus $20 for a bag of apples. I'm a grown ass man. I don't ask much. I just want a cold beer. And this has been sitting in my pantry. I just want to drink it right now. Why should I wait? I don't want to put it in the freezer. I don't want to put it in the fridge. I want to put it in my mouth and then I want to go to my head to make me forget about all those things I just told you. Just for five minutes. That's all I ask. There's got to be some way to do that. You didn't think I was just not going to have an answer, do you? This is the spin chill. It's about 30 bucks. You stick it on a bottle or a can, stick it in some ice, spin it around, and through science, after about a minute or so, science makes it cold. I don't know how, but it's science. Speaking of science, things are about to get very scientific, so take your blood pressure medication if you haven't already, because this is a temperature gauge, a laser something or other. 67 degrees this can is at room temperature. I'm gonna hook it up to the spin chill, stick it in the ice, and let it go for a minute. One minute for cans, longer for bottles. We'll get to that in a second. Okay, elapsed time, one minute. Very high quality production here. Take it out, and it is down to 52 degrees. Very drinkable. That is quite a change in temperature after a minute of spinning. Okay, now we're gonna try a beer bottle. This one's already kind of cold. We're just gonna see how much colder we can get it. So, uh, bottles you're supposed to do, beer bottles you're supposed to do for three minutes and wine bottles for five minutes because they're bigger. So this is about 50 degrees. Stick this on here, stick that in there. And I'm gonna spin this for three minutes. Hopefully not lose control of this thing. And uh, we'll be back to see how much cooler we can make it. So 50 degrees, three minutes, okay it down and take it out and see how much colder we made it. Yeah, so down more than 10 degrees. Nice and frosty. And then this ridiculous wine bottle. Again, room temperature. It's a rosé. I don't even know if you're supposed to chill these. I'm not a wine person. I love beer. I really... Wine doesn't turn my head. Oops. Be right with you. So we're gonna spin this for five minutes. This is absurd. <laughs> I hope I can keep this up for five minutes. After five minutes, we'll see how much we chill it down. Okay, five minutes. Yeah. It's like, yeah, it gets slower and slower. It kind of wears on the battery, so. Because the thing's giant. And they say you're supposed to submerge it all the way if you can, so let's see, this was about half submerged, and still down to, yeah, full, wow, okay, down under 50 degrees for a giant bottle of wine after five minutes. The can still feels cold, and this, we've been still five minutes, ten minutes since I chilled it. Let's get to taste it. Very good. So that's the spin chill you can get at spinchill.com for 25 bucks plus shipping. Uh, other than it being a little pricey, it does what it says. Uh, chills a can of beer in a minute, bottle in three minutes, bottle of wine in five minutes. Works pretty well. I've actually been using mine more than I thought I would. So, pretty good. Grown ass man just spinning beers alone on a Saturday afternoon. Life's good.